We're headed now to a nice little hidden gem here on the south coast of Iceland. You'd probably miss the turn off if you weren't looking for it. It's an old pool that was built here in the 1920s and it was used to teach the local Icelanders, well, how to swim. So it's, uh, yeah, completely man-made, but it is filled with water that comes from a geothermal spring just nearby. And if you can see just behind us here, these uh, white mountains full of snow, this is actually the lower section of the volcano Eyjafjallajökull. It's that big one that erupted back in 2010 that caused all that havoc with the air travel in and around Europe. So, let's go check out this pool. So if you see here, just behind me, this pipe, this feeds the geothermal water into the pool here at Seljavatnaloig. Right here where the pipe empties, this is probably the warmest part of the pool, and it gets progressively colder the further uh, back you go. So do keep that in mind. This isn't one of the warmest pools here in Iceland, so be prepared. summertime what you can expect is quite a lot of algae in the water so the sides of the pool and the bottom can be quite slippery uh, this pool is uh, cleaned only once by year by volunteers so maybe maybe not the most hygienic place but I think what makes this pool special is uh, the location so right behind the volcano and uh, just a gorgeous valley is said to be the largest and oldest still existing man-made cave in Iceland. There are a few legends related to this cave. One involves a man named Rutur, which is where this cave gets its name from. It is a large, double-story cave the lower section used to contain animals, and the heat generated from them was used up to warm up the higher chamber. A 
halfway to our next destination, we encountered a herd of Icelandic horses grazing by the side of the road. These horses can trace their lineage back to the original horses that Viking settlers brought to the island over 1,000 years ago. To keep this as one of the purest breeds in the world, no other type of horse may ever be imported into the country. This is in an effort to keep the bloodlines pure, as well as to prevent any outside contagions from spreading throughout the country. Not only that, but it is forbidden for any Icelandic horses who have left the country to ever be brought back to the island. stop of the day brings us to Steinahetler. For centuries, the cave was used by the farmers to house sheep, and at one point, ships were built at Steinahetler. The most iconic feature are the ferns growing on the ceiling. To pick them is to bring bad luck, as they are believed to be enchanted. I think we'll wrap the video up now with a sunset drone shot of the south coast right outside Steinahetler. Comment below if there are any other places on the south you'd like to see and we'll make sure to include them in our next video about the south coast hit the like button if you enjoyed it smash the subscribe button if you really enjoyed it and we'll see you next time